Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Satoshi Sean. Very glad you're here. Glad to be here hanging out with you. Um, if it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I try to pump out as much content as I can. Uh, new shows, reviews, um, roundtable discussions, just me being a knucklehead with my friends who are also uh, knuckleheads. Um, just fun. I promise that it will be somewhat entertaining and uh, somewhat educational. But whether you're a new subscriber, old subscriber, please crush the like button. Really, really helps me out with YouTube's algorithm. Um, I'm going to go over. Do I? How do you do it? This is going to be. I, I'm going to call it a review. I'm going to do a reviewish of glitch. Um, I'm angry right now about this. Uh, about glitch in 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 in, in particular. Um, full disclosure, they reached out to me and asked me to uh, to do a review on it and go over it. Uh, I had already looked into them. Um, pretty decently. And uh, so I, I agreed on it. I'm, I'm going to do it. But you know that we have me, Kiffs, uh, Mad. Well, we have a, a second. We have our Telegram group, uh, whatever Kiffs names. He changes the name all the time. But it's Kiffs, Lunatics, Asylum, or Trading, whatever. Um, but you can go at the links in the description. But we have a second group for like, a, you know, serious uh Serious viewers and 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 serious investors who who like to do research, and we uh, we are constantly research, researching the market. I am tongue tied on that. We're constantly researching the market and uh, and looking for different projects and looking for uh, for things that we think are like I like to go over going under the radar, not being talked about that much, or you know hidden gems. Especially in this bull market, you can find a decent gem and make some serious money on it, and we had found a lot at this time. It was like end of uh, March, um, beginning of April, but I think it was end of March. And I found Glitch. And I thought, this looks really good. Um, put it in the group. I'm like, hey, this looks good. And I had already found like two or three others, but everyone had found like two or three at that time. We were, we were kind of saturated with stuff. And nobody really picked up on Glitch. And nobody was, because I think just because we had so many, so I didn't follow up. I even like a couple times. Hey, what about glitch? You know, have you guys taken a look at glitch? And everyone was like, "No, man, I haven't had time to look at. It. I haven't had time to look at." It. So I did not get into it. Um, and I I really liked it when I, out of the four that I had found, I think glitch was my favorite. And I ended up not getting into it. Um, and I I consider that I've lost nine thousand dollars at least because of that decision. Um which I can put a number on that because I know about when I, you know, found it and was looking into it and when I, you know, presented it to our, to our group. Um, so it's completely my fault, completely me just doubting myself and listening to everyone else and not going with my gut and what I wanted to do. Um, I thought that they had a, a good product, a good plan, a, a decent team. And I only say that because some of the team is anonymous, but no one's holding your crypto. No one has your keys. There's, you know, they're not custodial, so the team is is still important, but not as important. Um, but I really like what they were doing. So let's jump into it so I can go over. But that's if you hear my size and and uh, and uh, unapproving moans, it's because of that. I'll make things bigger so you guys can see it. Um, oh, also please uh, subscribe, like, but leave a comment so that you're uh, entered in the sweepstakes that's a big word the giveaway yeah when i give away crypto every week um i think i'm gonna do it wednesday um on the crypto lunch break so i'll just do a random pick of all the videos for the week since the last time i gave away and then i'm gonna give away uh most likely some car tokens and some dewey tokens so comment with your uh, address or just whatever comment and uh i'll pick it and that should go should do that wednesday okay so glitch before anything, the name of the project is Glitch. This is their website. You see this picture. It has a glitch. That's fun. Um, so they are blockchain. First off, they, they uh, launched on TrustSwap, which is uh, a big deal to me because I really like TrustSwap. 
and the vetting, you know, that they do. Um, so they aim to be the best DeFi smart chain, smart contract platform. Eight. Now, the reason for that is because they are trying to be scalable enough to take on the legacy financial uh, system. Um, now, they're an improvement on Ethereum and all the drawbacks. I don't want to say improvement on Ethereum. don't want to go that route. An improvement on the drawbacks of Ethereum. Um by being, they're not proof of work. They're delegated proof of stake like EOS, but not like EOS where EOS is a uh, super, it, don't want to say super centralized, rather centralized with their small amount of uh, block producers. Um, with their delegates, they have what's called a, a carousel system. So it's more fair um, and it's not going to be the same or the, like the, the richest people aren't going to basically run, run the chain. Um, that's one of the, see a lot of cool things about this that I liked back then when it was just coming out, um, because they, they launched on trust swap. I couldn't take a, uh, take part in the, um, in the initial, uh, launch because I'm in America, uh, the home of the brave and the land of the controlled. <laughs> um, but, and also like all, you know, any uh, UN sanctioned countries couldn't take part in it. But once it got out there, I, I could, and I thought it was something really, really good. It, it launched for nine cents, um, maybe even less. I think the yeah they had a they had like a private sale, a secondary private sale, and then this, the regular launch was like nine cents. So you could have got it really, really cheap. Um, so they have high transaction speeds. I think three thousand, yeah, three thousand uh, transactions per second. Um, very, very low transaction fees. They're Blockchain, blockchain agnostic, I think. Yeah, blockchain agnostic, super protocol um, built to facilitate trustless money markets. So there are going to be uh, cross chain. They're going to um, uh, use a bridge. They're going to go on the Binance smart chain to so be able to use PancakeSwap and not be forced to use uh, Uniswap. Um, super low transaction fees. Uh, groundbreaking reward structure that that does incentivize uh, community support through a revenue sharing protocol which in turn ensures low network and gas fees for users. Um, they are, like I said, uh, delegated proof of stake. There's 800, not a, not a huge supply. I'm going to go to tokenomics, and that's the main thing that I, I kind of want to focus on now because we're in this between stage of uh, massive development of the products and the launch. So the super cheap, quick, quick super gains behind us. I think there's big gains ahead of us. Um, and then the products and everything are a little bit later on. So, uh, oh, 888 million is the total supply, but there, there's no burn, but it's still a very low supply for uh, for what they aim to do. Um, through a modified DP, a delegated proof of stake, consensus that has a, a voting system to provide a better decentralized control of the network, uh, incentivize the network through revenue sharing. That's the, what is it called? The carousel uh, delegate uh, method. All right, which isn't listed here, but that's what it's called. Um, then they have the GEX, which is uh, the glitch decentralized exchange, which is gonna come out. Um, I don't know why I didn't call it GDEX. That sounds cooler. Also, it's like GDAX, which is what Coinbase Pro used to be when it was cool. Um, you know, like the noobs and and people were on Coinbase paid the high fees, but you go to GDAX, which was, you know, still Coinbase, but you paid like hardly anything. And then, you know, people named their dog afterward, and then they, they changed the name of it to Coinbase Pro. It's really not fair. Um, yeah, token ticker is Glitch. Token price is a dollar and ten cents. Uh, total supply 888 million, 888,000, and circulating supply right now is about half. Um, I'm gonna just yeah, no, this is the picture I used to make the little thing with at the bottom. Uh, this is let me see what do I want to go over here. I could read through this, but it's went over most of it. So while the main net is due to go live in Q3. So that is 
this year. Um, that's one thing I like about this as far as games go. Um, and not to be, you know, I'm just about the money, but the the roadmap and the development is very focused and very uh, it's coming quick. And it needs to be because they're competing against some big people, uh, some big projects, some big popular projects with giant market caps. And that's where I think the big gains can come, which I'll explain in a minute. Um so they're going to uh, launch a few dApps alongside, which will serve as a strong foundation for the ecosystem. They're really building this to be a, a, a very low barry, barrier entry for people as well as developers. Um, where do I want to sit? Uh, build on the bridge. The team, like I said, uh, the, the team is not as big, but a lot of the developers and other people are anonymous. But like the founder and other people, they're very, very connected to the uh, to the community as far as constantly putting updates out, uh, doing AMAs and, and being interactive with the community, which is really good. Uh, 3,000 transactions per second, uh, one second for finality, energy efficient, yes. Um, the DAO protocol and a 51% attack is not possible. All right. Um, they are doing scaling from a one layer solution, which is or uh, one layer solution, which is which is good. Um, a decay delegated proof of stake voting system where voting power lessens with time to ensure fair governance. The revenue sharing model uh, that guarantees low network fees for users and incentivizes community support. I already kind of went over all this. Um, and they use the most common smart contract languages. Uh, Golang, JavaScript, or any language that the developer prefers to motivate smart contract development. Um, all right. Am I? Here we go. See, the team, there's a, a lot of the team that is not um, that is not anonymous. Um, I've looked at like three of the, the big ones, and they're solid, solid, solid folks. Um, good backgrounds. Good uh Good work history. So, like I said, I went through all this and I looked at this really in depth, like six weeks or going on two months ago. Um, I did. I liked everything I saw. So, what I'm going to go over now is the potential. If we look at what they're, uh, they have said, yeah, it's a dollar and ten cents. It's up, but you know everything's up. But if you can look here, they've only been around since uh, the January beginning when I think when they had their uh, yeah January nineteenth. I think they launched on the fifteenth. It says 18th, 18th here, but okay. So I was looking at it right here. End of March, it was like 25 cents. Yeah. Um, and it had went, I mean, it had went up a, a bunch since 8 cents already to 25. It's a 3x. But uh, from that time, just in the past April, like literally like six weeks, we're up to a buck. So it's a... Uh, like that's 3x plus it's going on a 4x from uh from being at like 25 cents for when i looked at it i really shouldn't i just wasn't wasn't thinking like three three grand to it i thought it was a just something that was i thought it was really great nice anyway i gotta get off of that it's gone but now what can i do now the market cap is 74 million when i was looking at it, it was like a one to three or doesn't matter. It was low. It was nine. Um, seventy-five or seventy-five million is a decent market cap, but it's still a super low cap gem. When looking at everything else, the competitors, the things that this is going up against, is like Polkadot, which, like Nikki Maple's in love with Polkadot. It's one of the reasons why he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah Polkadot. So they're very, uh, very comparable in many ways into what they're doing, um, their uh, their supply and all that. Now, the market cap of uh, Polkadot is $38 billion. Now, they're like $40. Bucks. $40 more than, than uh, Glitch. Does this have to beat... If this beats uh, Polkadot, if this comes out to be the, the leader and the winner, and it, it, it takes over in this DeFi sector, oh, that's amazing, but they didn't have to. It can just not fail, which I... I do not expect it to. 
if this only pulls like 10, 15 percent of uh, polka dot type success and market cap, we're still looking at a, a 10x from where we're at, um, which is what I'm thinking. I'm 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 thinking we're going to have. It's not financial advice. This is what I'm what I'm thinking is going to happen. What I'm looking at and what I'm I'm still going to put into this now. I am. Um, but the market is is still growing. If you think polka dot is going to be staying here, this is the best it's going to be. Thirty eight billion. You know, all these other people coming into the market, all these institutions coming in. This isn't going up. No, this is going to go up a lot. Polka dot is going to go up a lot too. Um, but polka dot for polka dot to ten x, that's a whole heck of a lot. Uh, if polka dot goes to a uh, hundred billion, that's a lot. Uh, if Polkadot goes to 100 billion and this is this and Glitch has 15%, now, you know, we're talking, what is it, 150 million. So, no, it's more than that. It's a uh, 1. Point, Jesus, 1.5 billion. Oh my God. It's like a 20X. So, the room for, uh, for gains on this is, is insane. Um, uh, they also have a, a launch pad coming of their own with a partner, which they're very strict on what they partner with. Um, I like how, like I said, that they came out with a, um, on trust swap or vetted, and now they're kind of following in that uh, in those in those that venue that those footsteps where they're not just partnering with anybody. They're uh, they're very focused. Um, I thought this was, I mean, I thought this was a very solid project two months ago. And I wish I would have got into it, but I didn't. Um, I wish I could tell you that I did. I could tell you that I did, but I'd be lying. Um, however, I am going to put into this uh, today, most likely today. Uh, take all my big doge winnings from uh, from the Elon pump. That I don't know why anyone thought that that, that was going to keep going when he was on Saturday Night Live. But that's a different thing. Um, so on Glitch, um, I'll leave links to everything down there in the uh, in the description. I think, yeah, they got their social media stuff here on the side. Um, I still think this is a really good time to get in. I've liked the project since I first found it uh, uh, a couple months ago. Um, if you have any questions, you can hit me in the comments. Or jump over to their Telegram. Good Telegram. Good community. Uh, like I said, the uh, the team is very interactive when it comes to updates and talking to the community. I am Satoshi Sean. That is Glitch. I'll see you guys in the next video.